Guys, that's right. Well, voters will see a lot on their ballot. It's a primary, so the ballot is, is very crowded, especially for Republican voters. Tonight, we're taking a look at the biggest races, starting with governor. If you're a registered Republican, this is who you'll see on your ballot vying to be the Republican candidate for governor. Current Governor Kevin Stitt, Joel Kinsel, Mark Sherwood, and Moira McCabe. For Democrats and Independents, you'll decide between Connie Johnson and current state superintendent Joy Hoffmeister. Another big race, who do you want to represent you at our nation's capital? Oklahoma U.S. Senator James Langford, a Republican, is up for re-election. Also on the GOP ballot trying to take Langford's seat, Jackson Lawmeyer and Joan Farr. On the Democrat side, these six candidates for U.S. Senate. And another national position now that Senator Jim Inhofe is stepping down, Republicans are lining up to take his place in Washington. Republican voters will see 13 names on their ballot for Inhofe's seat. Another contentious race, Oklahoma's top teacher, four Republicans currently running for state superintendent. And in the metro, Oklahoma County voters will decide whether they want to spend $260 million to build a new jail. County commissioners say this bond will not raise taxes, but renew a bond that is expiring. That was approved in 2008. Now, keep in mind, only registered Republicans can vote in the Republican primary. Democrats and independents can vote in Democrat races. Also, for races that have multiple candidates, if no one gets more than 50% of the vote, there will be a runoff election. That will be in August. Guys, after tomorrow, we will have a clearer picture of what to expect on the ballot come November, the general election.